as the Dangote Petrochemical Refinery, one of the biggest socio-economic projects in Nigeria, gears towards its set target date to commence operations. The first batch of engineer trainees from Nigeria have been sharing their experience from their training in India. From cracking catalysts, continuous regeneration to crude distillation, the engineers in their separate team presentations gave an overview of the rigorous and practical sessions they went through and the benefits for the Dangote Petrochemical Refinery. One way an organization values its employees is by regularly training them. So with this level of training that we have from DORC, it gives the company good reputation both on the outside and on the inside. Another point is efficient refinery operations with adherence to best quality and safety practices. With the level of knowledge we have now, we would be able to effectively and efficiently run the refinery at the highest safety practices and to deliver the best and quality of products and um, increase productivity and profitability, which is the primary aim of every business and also that of the refinery. We have the knowledge, we have the skills and the competence now to effectively run the refinery, like I said earlier, and we'll be able to deliver the best quality products, safe cost, which will lead to low maintenance cost on equipment, and long machine life, which will eventually increase productivity. In the refinery, for you to be able to make money, at least each of your product must be at, at least the price of your crude oil. Mm -hmm. So the bottom products are normally low value, low value products. Exactly. So what is FCC does, it cracks those products mm -hmm. and make it, make it into what? Valuable products. Exactly. The gasoline, the propylene and the rest. The director, human capital for the oil refinery, Mohan Kumar, speaks further on the investments in the training and equipping of the young Nigerian engineers that will be part of the refinery operations. Uh, we have so far sent three batches to India, two batches specifically for refinery. The feedback uh, we have from uh, them is excellent in the sense that uh, our engineers have been able to absorb very well on the job. The focus of the refinery training has been on the job, unlike classroom training. It's, uh, they learn by doing it. So that way we are very happy. That's what our management also wanted because you should give maximum experience in operating hands-on. So total number, can you give us a total number of people that have gone on this training so far since uh, 2015? Uh, we have uh, so far trained 150, but we'll be having under 750 going. Some of the engineers give further insight into their exposure and experience in India and how they will apply this to the petrochemical refinery. You know, most of these things you read in, in books and you try to imagine. It's a different thing when you go into the plant and you see these things live. And then, not just seeing them life, you're handling them. It's a big difference, it's a wide gap. This is an opportunity I'm not sure I would have gotten anywhere else as a chemical engineer. I would say I'm a chemical engineer, but all I can do is tell you, oh, the theoretical things. But you know, when you work with these operators in India, they're ready to teach you, and you get to understand that some of these theories you read may not even be really applicable when it comes to the actual operation. So this is an experience that I want to thank DORC for. And like my colleague Akin has said, we would apply what we have learned to the benefit of Nigeria. And there's one key thing for me. It is not just about working for a refinery. It is also more of a patriotic um, zeal, you know, being part of one of the refineries that will come and move Nigeria forward. Over there in India, we were exposed to taking charge. In fact, was it from the DCS control, that's distributed control system, we, we, were, we were taught, you know, sometimes we were even allowed to change certain critical parameters. So these are very, um, um, what do you call it, practical experience that we have gotten. And in no time, we will be deploying this experience, this Anson experience, into the Dankote refinery plant. And we are very sure that will make Nigeria proud. But this is a wonderful learning opportunity for me and my colleagues. Very eye-opening and the trainers in India are wonderful, willing to teach. Sometimes when we're tired and let's go and sit down, they call us back. So they are willing to teach, they are happy to have us and that even kept us going, that motivated us. Going to India, I think the, the one I arrived in India, I was like zero on refinery knowledge. I didn't really know much. I studied petroleum and gas engineering, mostly focused on the upstream 
upstream activity and, and all that. So I really came there knowing little or zero about refinery. With the two most I spent in, in Grogram, India, with the Dangote Oil Refinery engineering team, I learned so much about the whole thing about refinery. Then we've now got down to the rating, which is the hands-on experience with Barat Petroleum Engineer Barat Petroleum Mumbai Refinery. I spent about three I spent three months there in their catalytic cracking unit and I think I've learned so much because the catalytic cracking unit is more like one of the principal units. Like we say is the cash cow of a refinery. If you don't have a catalytic cracking unit in a refinery, it's more like you are just there. You don't you don't really make so much profit. So I was there, I learned about the process itself, I learned about the economics and I learned about why we really need that in a refinery. And I think I can boldly tell you that I came out here a better engineer. So the five months in, in India for, for my training was really worth it. And I really want to thank Dangote, it's Dangote himself and the Dangote Oil Refining Company Limited Group for giving us this opportunity to be exposed to world class training in engineering. So far, 150 Nigerian engineer trainees have been sent to India with a target of an additional 750 that will make it 900 engineers prepared for the commencement date of the refinery. This is a laudable step by the Dangote Industries as it strengthens local content and human capital development for Nigeria in the oil and gas sector.